I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. It was fun while it lasted, the winning streak for Canada's labor market coming to an end last month, according to Stats Canada, as the economy gave back 7,200 jobs. Well, 6,400 of those were of the full-time variety. Now, it brought to an end a six-month string of gains where the Canadian economy added close to 300,000 jobs, including a big start to the year for the January and February job growth statistics. Analysts saying it basically was just the economy taking a breather after all of those jobs were added in the previous months. Stateside, meantime, the U.S. economy added lots of jobs last month. Again, 196,000 in total. And the unemployment rate there holding close to a 50-year low of 3.8%. SNC-Lavalin shares were down today as the company announced that it is selling a 10% ownership stake in the Highway 407 toll road. For 10%, they're getting $3.25 billion. They're selling it to the... Ontario Municipal Employee Retirement System, a pension fund in the province, which will hold a 10% interest. The uh, top owner of Highway 407, which was first privatized back in 1999 for a mere $3 billion, is Centra Global, an infrastructure company which owns 43%, and the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board holds 40%. SNC Lavalin will retain a near 7% ownership stake. Well, pot stocks on Bay Street, celebrating five years on the Canadian markets. It was five years ago this week that Tweed Inc., which now goes by the name Canopy Growth, was first listed on the Canadian Venture Exchange. At that time, it was just for medical marijuana purposes. No one even talking about the legalization of cannabis for recreational use. But since that listing of uh, Canopy five years ago, the stock has gone up 2,100%. In fact, if you sold at the peak, you would have made 2,800% rate of return. Other big movers in that sector from five years back, Afria up by 1,500%, Kronos Group up 2,900%, and Organogram up by 400% over a five-year time frame. This was a pretty big week on the markets. The TSX is inching closer to its all-time record high and is now up by better than 14% year-to-date. And on Wall Street, we saw the Dow add to its gains this year with an advance over the course of the week and now up by 13% year-to-date. All of this as the U.S.-China trade talks appear to be making some progress. We'll be following that again next week to see if that continues. And overall, the economy is doing okay. And interest rates aren't going anywhere. And earnings seem to be on the rise. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.